Is this road always this busy? The Human Bridge crosses the Pearl River, connecting Guangzhou in the west with Dongguan in the east. At present, this bridge is the only way to get between Hong Kong and Zhuhai by road. And as you can see, it gets pretty busy, but perhaps not for much longer. The Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge aims to increase connectivity between the cities of Guangdong Province and the two special administrative regions on either side of the Pearl River Delta. Hi there. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I understand you're going to show me the bridge today. Of course. Oh, fantastic. Well, after you. To form what's been called the Greater Bay Area. Although it's called the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, not all of it actually is a bridge. One section, the part we're going through now, is a tunnel goes under the sea and is envisaged as becoming a world-class economic and business hub. We are standing on this artificial island. At this point we can see the international Hong Kong airport. So it's very noisy. Our workers converse with all these difficulties. This whole project is 50 kilometers long and the main part of it is about 30 kilometers long. It has cost us 15 years to construct this project. How much did it cost in terms of money? Ah, oh, yes, I, I should count it. <laughs> 一千多亿, how to say that? Uh, we've just spotted some white dolphins. Hi there. Hi. What is it that you do here? How many people are in your team? Okay. And are you local? Are you from Zhuhai? Or? Oh, I'm from Dejiang. Okay, well, thanks very much. I'll let you get back to it. If we go back to the uh, 20 years, at the first company I entered is in charge of uh, the design of uh, this Linding Yang Bridge, but it stopped due to the limitation of the money and technology. Hu Yingshang was the brains behind the first proposal for a bridge linking Hong Kong and Zhuhai. Deng Xiaoping just announced the Deng Xiaoping Bridge opening. This is Hong Kong. It has a lot of business coming out. It is the first one in the world. But despite the fact that the people of Hong Kong are very strong, the labor force is very strong, the labor force has a lot of land. It 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 has a lot of land. The Zhu Gong Sang Wok Zhou is the most important land. 所有的公路只是得兩線的,一來一往,你怎麼能夠應付到這麼大量的生產力?公司就提出來。Other business people, like who, have been involved in the construction of hotels, expressways, power plants and other infrastructure. With the country's economic development and technological progress, other people, like Hu Ying Chiang, were able to realise his dream with an even greater project. The Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge was open to traffic on October 24th, 2018. It's massive infrastructure projects like the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge that underpin the Greater Bay Area's future development and will help transform this emerging megacity into a world class economic and business hub. This is Huangguan Checkpoint, one of the busiest crossings between Shenzhen and Hong Kong. It's about 9 30 in the morning now. And already you can see how many people there are here waiting to cross. It's crossing points like Wangang that allow for the free movement of labour between Shenzhen and Hong Kong. I was Behind me is the Shenzhen River, which separates Shenzhen from Hong Kong on the far side. Deng Xiaoping visited this checkpoint in 1992, when the scenery on this side of the river would have looked very different. I'm going to go meet an entrepreneur from Hong Kong who runs an incubator for startups here in Shenzhen. In last year, I got invited by the Shenzhen government to run this incubator for them uh, because this is the Shenzhen Hong Kong hub especially for young 
entrepreneurs. So in here, actually, every team were from Hong Kong. Let me introduce. This is one of our incubator, the co-founder Simon. Nice to yeah, and this is great. Yes, I used to work in design and design some drone, and uh, now uh, this is our product. It's a light hair dryer. <laughs> It's amazing that there's, you can see straight through it. Yeah. Here's one of our incubators designing the uh, wind turbine. Such a small fan. Yeah. Yeah. Put it down here? Put it down here. Oh, down there. wow. And that's not, that's not a lot of, it's not very strong not. wind. No. Yeah. <laughs> China has a really large market and so it gives space to the young entrepreneur. This still left some opportunity of space you can work on it. But in Hong Kong, it's more like everything is well developed. So you have to try really, really hard to find a gap. Sure, but yeah. kind of break it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is my uh, works reflecting the Hong Kong uh, phenomenon, uh, how the it is changing in, in the Hong Kong 80s. It's, it's all Hong Kong artists. Most of them actually Hong Kong, and uh, I think some of them also uh, from the uh, Shenzhen and also different cities in uh, China. We want to uh, make the Hong Kong young artists and designers participate more in the uh, Great Bay Area development. I got some experiences in Shanghai, and that's really important that uh, that can help many uh, Hong Kong entrepreneurs easier to landing. They just invented a, a water robotic. Uh, they can use it as a treasure hunting and uh, water uh, inspection. We have started this incubator about three and a half years ago. We have incubated about 300 startup companies. Most of them have raised the money. They have raised about 1.5 billion RMB. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, so where are you from? Hong Kong. Hong Kong, both? You're both yeah, from Hong Kong? Hong Kong? How old are you? Uh, 18. Oh, 18. I'm 16. 16, yeah. Welcome everybody. Uh, today's event is an uh, exchange between football where we bring in mainland China and Hong Kong and Macau light-hearted youngsters to come together today in Guangzhou. Since uh, incorporating in 2016, we have arranged many different activities bringing Hong Kong youth to the mainland. We found that through sports and cultural events, it's much more popular and also draws their attention. So hopefully through this football event, where they're able to understand more about the development of China, and for them, it's a growing path and where Hong Kong and mainland come closer together. 40 years of reform and opening up have helped shape the Pearl River Delta into the economic powerhouse it is today and paved the way for increased integration in the future.